Chapter 4 Introduction to Adobe Animate CC We all love watching animated movies and playing video games. But do you have any idea how these are created? The first animation film was created in 1908. It took nearly a year to create a short two minutes animation film. Today, the technology has evolved to a stage where simple computer programs help you to create your own animation within hours. Look at the strip on the screen. These are individual static images. Can you see that each image has small modifications from the previous one? Individual static images combined together to create an illusion of movement is called animation. Adobe Animate CC that is Adobe Animate Creative Cloud, is one of the softwares which is used for creating animated movies and games. Earlier, this software was known as Adobe Flash Professional. With the help of the animation software, you can combine images, videos, audios and other effects for creating animations. These animations are commonly used for advertisement purpose and games on the web pages. Advantages of Animate CC it does not require programming skills. It is easy to learn. It enables you to create interactive movies for the web or for other publishing media. It is simple to use with easy controls. How to start Adobe Animate CC It is very easy to start Adobe Animate CC. Follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. Click on All Programs. Step 3. Click on the Adobe Animate CC option. The welcome screen of Animate CC will open up. Step 4. In the Create New section, click on Action Script 3.0. A new Animate document will open up. Drawing Tools A variety of tools can be used for making the animation look attractive. Different tools for drawing, painting, selecting and modifying graphical objects are used. Let us learn about a few tools. Line tool. You can draw straight lines using the line tool. To draw a straight line, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the line tool in the tools panel. Step 2. In the property inspector, select the stroke color, line thickness or line style if desired. Step 3. On the stage, click the mouse button. The cursor looks like a plus sign. Click and drag it in the direction where you want to draw a line. Step 4. Use the shift key to draw a straight line. Release the mouse button when done. To add curve to a line. A straight line can be changed into a curve by following the given steps. Step 1. After drawing a line, click on the selection tool. Step 2. Move the pointer on the line. Click and drag the line to a curve when the pointer changes to an arrow with a curve symbol. Pencil Tool The pencil tool draws freehand lines in three different modes. Straighten Used to draw straight lines. It is the default modifier of pencil tool. Smooth Used to draw smooth curved lines. Ink Used to draw freehand lines with no modification applied. To draw the line using pencil tool, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Select the pencil tool and choose the desired option, straighten, smooth or ink. Step 2. In the property inspector, select the stroke color, stroke height or thickness and style if desired. Pen tool. The pen tool is used to draw precise paths as straight line or smooth flowing curves. Follow the given steps to use the pen tool. Step 1. Select the pen tool. Step 2. Click on the stage to define the anchor point A. Step 3. Click to create the second anchor point B at a distance. To complete an open path, double click the last point. A small X appears along with the pen tool. It is ready to create a new line segment of the new path. To close a path, position the pen tool over the first anchor point. 
a small circle appears next to the pen tip when it is positioned correctly. Click or drag to close the path. Rectangle Tool Rectangles and squares are the basic shapes available with most of the drawing software packages. This tool also has an option which can be used to get the rounded corners. Step 1. Select the Rectangle Tool Step 2. In the Property Inspector, select the Stroke Color, Fill Color, Stroke Size, Style and Scale. Step 3. Click and drag the mouse on the stage until the rectangle is of the size that you want. To draw a square, press and hold down the Shift key while dragging. Step 4. To draw a rounded rectangle or square, specify Corner Radius under the Rectangle Options section in the Properties panel. You can either specify a numeric value or use Corner Radius Control Slider to change the value for all the corners. Step 5. Now click on the stage. You will get a rounded rectangle with the specified corner radius. Entering a negative value creates an inverse radius. Polystar tool. This tool is used to draw polygons or stars. To use this tool, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the polystar tool. Step 2. Select Properties and select Fill and Stroke Attributes. Step 3. Click on Options from Tools Setting and do the following. For Style, select Polygon or Star. For Number of Sides, enter a number from 3 through 32. For Star Point Size, enter a number from 0 through 1 to specify the depth of the star points. A number closer to zero creates deeper points like needles. If you are drawing a polygon, leave this setting unchanged. Step 4. Click OK. Step 5. Drag on the stage. For drawing a star. A star can also be made similarly. Text tool. This tool is used to insert text on the stage. You can set various attributes like font style, family, size when the text is inserted. To insert the text, follow the following steps. Step 1. Select the text tool. Step 2. Select the font family, style, size and color etc. from the properties panel. Step 3. Move the mouse pointer on the stage and start typing. Selection tools. In Animate CC, you can use Selection, Subselection and Lasso tools to select objects. When you select objects or strokes, Animate highlights them with a marquee. You can choose to select only an object's strokes or only its fills. Selection tool. The selection tool lets you select elements like shapes, strokes, fills, symbols, etc. in the work area by clicking on it. To select several objects together, hold down the Shift key and select other objects. Sub-Selection Tool This tool is used to select and move points of an object or edit paths between the adjacent points. Let's see how it works. Step 1. Select the Sub-Selection Tool and click on the line or shape outline. This reveals the points and path that form the selected object. Step 2. When an anchor point is selected, it changes from a hollow dot to a solid dot. Step 3. Drag the selected anchor point to create a desired path. Coloring Tools Brush Tool The brush tool draws brush-like strokes as if you are painting. It lets you create special effects including calligraphic effects. You can select brush size and shape using the brush tool modifiers. The following are the painting modes which can be selected from the options area of the tool panel once the brush tool has been selected. Paint Normal. It paints over lines and fills on the same layer. Paint Fills. It fills empty areas leaving lines unaffected. Paint Behind. It paints behind existing lines and fills. Paint Selection. It applies a new fill color only to the selected filled area. Paint Inside It allows to paint only the fill area and never allows to paint outside the lines. 
Paint Bucket Tool This tool is used to fill enclosed areas of object with colors or change the existing color in a single click. To fill color in an object, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the Paint Bucket Tool Step 2. Click the Fill Color button. The color palette appears. Step 3. Select the color of your choice. Click the Gap Size modifier and choose a Gap option to close the gap in the shape, if any. Step 4. Click inside the object to fill with color. Eraser Tool This tool helps you to remove unwanted strokes and fills. When you select the Eraser Tool, it displays three modifiers, Eraser Mode, Faucet and Eraser Shape modifier. To use the Eraser Tool, Follow the given steps. Step 1. Click the Eraser tool. Step 2. Click on the Eraser Mode modifier and select the required eraser. The following are the different Eraser Mode modifiers. Erase Normal. It erases all lines and filled areas of an object whenever the Eraser tool is dragged over it. Erase Fills. It erases only the filled areas of an object while outlines remain unaffected. Erase Lines. It erases only strokes without affecting the lines. Erase Selected Fills. It helps in erasing fills that are currently selected and does not affect strokes. Erase Inside. It erases only the fill of an object without affecting the strokes. Step 3. Click and drag it on the object to erase. Drawing an Object. Step 1. Select the Pencil tool from the Tools panel. Step 2. Select the black color from the Stroke color and white color from the Fill color swatch. Step 3. Draw the fish. Step 4. Similarly, draw a leaf alongside the fish. Step 5. Use the Selection tool to give proper curves and edges to the fish. Step 6. Select the Paint Bucket tool, then select the color from the Fill color and click inside the fish and the leaf. Step 7. Select the Oval tool and drag across the fish and the leaf to form the fish bowl. Step 8. Select the Eraser tool and erase the bottom and the upper part of the bowl. Again, use the Oval tool to make the bowl's top and bottom. Transforming Objects You can transform drawing objects, grouped objects, symbols and text blocks either by using the free transform tool or by the transform options of the modify menu. Depending on the element you select, you can freely transform, rotate, skew, scale or distort the element. Step 1. Select a graphic object, group, instance or text block on the stage using the selection tool. A boundary without any square boxes appears around the object. Step 2. Select the free transform tool. A bounding box with small squares appears during transform operations that involve dragging. Step 3. To transform the selection, drag the handles. To move the selection, position the pointer over the object within the bounding box and drag the object to a new position. Do not drag the transformation point. To rotate the selection, position the pointer just outside a corner handle and drag. The selection rotates around the transformation point. Shift drag to rotate in 45 degree increments. To skew the selection, position the pointer on the outline between the transformation handles and drag. To distort shapes, press Ctrl and drag a corner handle or a side handle. Step 4. To end the transformation, click outside the selected item. Grouping and ungrouping the objects. To control elements as a single object, we can group them. For instance, after creating a drawing, you might group the elements of the drawing so that you can easily select and move the drawing as a whole. To create a group of objects, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the object you want to include in a group. Let's say we select the fish. Step 2. Drag and bring it in the bowl. 
Step 3. Now click on Modify menu and select the group or you can also press Ctrl and G. The selection will have a blue outline. The objects are now grouped together and are treated as a single object. Importing graphics on the stage. In order to make use of a photo or graphic file in Adobe Animate, such as JPEG, GIF or PNG, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on File and choose Import. Step 2. Click on Import to Stage. If you choose Import to Library, the image will be saved in the Library panel. You can drag and drop images from the Library panel to the stage. Step 3. The Import dialog box will appear. In this dialog box, browse and select the required image and then choose the Open button. The image will be imported to the stage. Saving a file To save an animate file, follow the given steps. Step 1. Choose File, Save or Save As. Step 2. The Save As dialog box will be displayed. Step 3. Specify the name for the file and choose the Save button. The default format for saving an animate file is FLA. However, you can change it to the XFL format.